Night Coordinator here at the Jewel J. Newman Center. Today, I would like to give a word of encouragement to someone by dwelling in our heart. How does Jesus dwell inside you and give you a great comfort? How can you grow closer to God knowing that his power gives you strength? Sometimes the words of children can join us into a desperate, deeper understanding of God's truth. One evening, when my daughter was young, I told her about one of the great mysteries of the Christian faith, that God through his Son and Spirit dwells in his children. As I took her into bed, I saw that Jesus was with her and in her. He's in my tummy, she asked. Well, you haven't swallowed him. I replied, but he's right there for you. My daughter Lily's transition of Jesus being in her stomach made me stop and consider. When I asked Jesus to be my savior, he came and took residence beside me. My daughter Lily's transition of Jesus being in her stomach made me stop and consider. When I asked Jesus to be a savior, he came and took residence within me. The Apostle Paul referred to his mystery when he prayed that the Holy Spirit would strengthen the believers of Ephesians so that Christ would dwell in their hearts through faith. With Jesus living within, he could grasp how deeply he loved them. Few with this love, they would mature in their faith and love one another with humanity and gentleness while speaking the truth of love. Jesus dwelling inside his follower means that his love never leaves those who welcome him into their lives. His love that surpassed knowledge root us to him, help to understand how deeply he loves us. Words written for children can say the best, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. I know that he loves me. I hope that this has been an inspiration to someone. I hope it has been an encouragement to someone. I hope this has blessed someone. Jesus loves you and so do I. Thank you.